startled masses listening and then yeah. looking for the secret police to knock on the door and hide the radio. That's not where we're at now. Well, then let me come at you from the other direction, because next month the DOA plans to end all radio and TV broadcasts in Mandarin and Cantonese. There's been some criticism of that. The California Congressman Dana Warbacher says it looks like we're succumbing to the wants of the communist Chinese. Now, particularly in a society where internet communication is so tightly suppressed, I just read the book, uh, it was a case case book called On China. Mm -hmm. We have and to keep them on case by case basis. The first, the first hundred pages of that book was like, still a very good way to reach a bit of was like reading fingernails. It's still probably one of the best ways to reach the uh, Korean population. But it has become it really, it really, uh, it just basically described the history of his involvement in Chinese. One of the most important places that you read. Yeah, and well, and quite before that, but then also then the history of the Chinese before that. Social media. And it was, I mean, I'm an idiot. I don't know anything about Chinese history, but it was fascinating, actually. It was a really... You read some of the stuff that they did in the 1400s, 1300s in Salem. The Voice of America. They had ships. Sailing ships the size of modern freight. Yeah, they had certain navigators that glowed well before. So this, this, he comes off as being really pro-Chinese. Oh, yeah. Which I don't know. He's over there. Politics, news, or bad for us. I found it, I found it interesting that. Uh,